Hi there, my name is Faye. Welcome back to the Midway. Today we're talking about the open beta for Multi V by Iron Vertex. That could be Multi 5, I don't know. The TLDR is if you're a VTuber or you've seen VTuber collabs, you've probably seen one tracked model and a bunch of other PNGs or pictures popping up and down as the other collab people speak in Discord. Well, you can actually get multiple models to be tracked on screen at once during collabs. There are other tools for this, but some of them have been very heavy on a computer or bandwidth, and Iron Vertex is hoping to fix that problem for many of us. Multi-V or Multi-5, I don't know, I'm gonna say V, is currently in open beta from November 1st to 30th. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it to get your wonderful friends models on your stream. I'm also going to show you how to have your model look just as crisp and high quality as it is now, but we're also gonna compare how your model could be at various different qualities on your friends' streams through the tool and I will send you a resource for 3D models if that's you and you want to try with this tool. Please keep in mind that this is an open beta from November 1st to 30th. So after that time period, it sounds like we're going to have to pay to use this tool and there are going to be timestamps below. So if you want to skip to comparing how my model looks at low quality versus high quality using this tool, Multi-UV, you can do that below. First up, if you need a little bit of a recap of what this tool's goals are, here's a little snippet from Iron Vertex themselves. Cap of the key features. Multi-V is a video stream app that supports transparency. That means you no longer need to choose which color to sacrifice in your collab streams. Because this is a video stream solution, your model file isn't required to be sent to anywhere, not even our server. Your model is kept safe in your own computer only. We also care about scalability. Even with 10 or more people joining the video stream, it wouldn't take up a lot of your internet bandwidth. The setup process is also designed to be simple and straightforward. The overlay that you're going to be using to show your friends' models on your stream is literally an internet browser overlay. They do suggest that you ask your collaborators to only show their model from neck up if you have a bunch of them, but I feel like you can have more of your model showing if it's a one-on-one -on -one call for like interview situations, which you'll see here in my video in a second. For beta testers, we're able to set it up without giving any guidance. Your PNG and GIF items in VTS will be visible on the other end, and other people's items will show up on your side as well. Mount TV also supports 3D VTubers. This is how it works. Step 1 is to log into our web app. Step 2, let our app connect to your face tracking app. Step 3, copy a URL into your OBS as a browser source. After that, you can send an invite link of your room that you host to other users so they can click and join right away. For a user to log in, we made it so that you don't need to create an account. You just need to log in with your Twitter to authenticate. This way, you can confirm the identity of the people in your collab. Each user can control the position of everyone else's model on their end. You can move That's other people around, important. scale them, move them to the front and back, or rotate them. It will not affect other people's dreams. So that means that you can place every single head where you want to on your stream and then your collaborators can decide to do whatever they want with your head as well. You don't all have to share the exact same positioning of your models while you're collabing. I will drop a link to this video from Iron Vertex below if you need some help with the initial setup. But next, I'm gonna show you exactly how you should set up your model alongside having this browser source for your friends' models because you should not be displaying your model in the same browser source as your friends' models are because it's gonna butcher your quality. Usually when you're streaming, you wanna keep your VTube capture full screen and then you can make hotkeys to move your model around your entire OBS screen like this. But when using Multi-V, you want to make your VTube capture only part of the screen. So this is the exact same thing, except you can see the borders of it. And that's because you want to actually have your model in the middle of the screen as big as possible. So it's not fuzzy for other people in the room. And then what you're going to do is you're going to layer your smaller VTube capture, I'm moving my entire window of it here. And then you're gonna overlay your multi-V, which will have other people in the room and they're gonna be more delayed than you. Um, and so eventually, once I get you in here, I'll be, I'm gonna click my little button. It's an eyeball next to my own name in the multi-V room and then I will be gone and I'll only have you on there. And that's how you maintain your lower latency of your own model. I'm gonna match my face size to you. <laughs> there we go. So now this is both me and LB if I'm using both of us in Multi-V, but I should be turning myself off in the room. 
and using my actual YouTube studio for myself. So the latency isn't as bad. Keeps my microphone operating well and my model on higher quality without killing your side, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna compare the different qualities that you can stream to the room in Multi-V to your friends. Keep in mind that you might wanna try different qualities depending on your computer, your friend's computer. I'm not a tech person, but this is what they look like and you can decide what works best for your group. So this is tracking with basic quality lip sync test. Hi, my name is Faye. I'm a VTuber. I'm a clown VTuber. I really like farming sims and playing games with other people. There is quite a delay. <laughs> All right. This is highest quality. More delay than regular capture, but still cool. High frames per second. High resolution. And low quality. Okay. Ah. <laughs> low quality. All right, so the last thing I have for you all tonight is a guide for you 3D model users. So Dr. Jojo was kind enough to make a little mini guide for this and share it with the community. It looks like this, and it involves VC face as well as Spout 2. I actually just debuted my 3D model, but I'm not an expert, so I would very much recommend you check this out if this is something you are interested in testing and you have a 3D model, I will leave a link to everything here in the description below. And that's gonna be all from me. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe so I can continue to be a pretty clown and not a sad clown because a sad clown is just scary and I will see you next time. Bye. Am I moving on yours? Yeah. Nice. Did Looks you like figure out the fine. turn yourself off on your side? Yep. Yeah. So like I'm looking at my multi-V room and it's just you. <laughs> Yeah, same. Yeah. I think the biggest thing with this is that there's probably going to be latency on your mic. So ideally, I would have your sound on my separate Discord track and then delay it. Yeah, but that that's pretty advanced. Yeah, probably not that big of a deal. You could always like delay it when editing a clip mm -hmm. to make it match better. And then the toggle should still work. Yeah. Which is very cool. There we go. This is what the Hollow Stars boys are doing. Why are you scared? Is it the room? I decorated it nicely.